All right. All right. All right, here we go. This is United Cars coming into Direct Gaming. Uh, here to talk some gaming today. Y'all hear me? I can hear you fine. I'm waiting on Sermonator. Don't know what happened to him. What's up, Ziggy? We waiting on him. Hey, what's going on? Can you hear me? Yup. Ah, uh, we could. Uh, we could uh, I was waiting on the signal. I, I didn't hear anything on my end. You didn't hear okay, anything? so he didn't hear me. Not yeah, I, I, I introduced myself. <clears throat> all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to mic check it real quick. It's all good. I'm going to go mic check right now from Ziggy. Ziggy's going to let us know. Hold on. Y'all keep talking. Yeah, everything's good. <clears throat> you can hear me, sure. Sean, can you hear, can you hear United yeah. Cash? No. Oh, he can't, he can't hear, hear you me. at all. Mm. No, no, That's in weird. fact, I haven't heard him since I logged in. What? What? No, I, I, I mean, I see, I see his icon, but you know how normally if somebody speaks, uh, the circle around your icon will he, light he, up, he, and he, it hasn't done Cass, a thing. look and see if you got a mute, Yeah, my, bro. my thing is lighting see up as well. See if y'all are muted. See if you got each other muted or something. Well, I've got the checkbox in on the uh, include my audio, so no, no, I've no, got no. that click. I'm talking about on his name in the party. Do you have him muted? Go to his go to his name and highlight it and see if he's muted. Nah, it's not yeah, I just hit unmute. That's but... what. He's he was unmuted. Can you, you know me? what? Nothing's happened. Okay. It yeah. just unmuted. I had to but you know okay. what? But so you, you have me on mute. You know what? <laughs> well, I had to click it. I had to click it about four times. All right, turn your for whatever turn reason they didn't want to unmute. Turn y'all's mic up. Ziggy said y'all are a bit quiet, but keep talking. I'm doing a mic chest right now. Keep talking. You and Cass say something. All right, something. all right. Uh, all right, Sherman, so how's it I, going, man? How you been doing? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm fair for a square. I mean, you know, I, I'm fighting a nasty cold, so... As, oh, far okay. as, doing a, as far as doing a mic check, I could do the ultimate mic check nope. and blow my nose in the mic. Nope. I don't know if that will work. <laughs> no, you sound good, bro. You, you sound good. All, All right, right. Sean, we're waiting for your introduction, man. Go ahead and start over, Cass. All right. Oh, this is, uh, how you guys doing? This is United Cars coming to you from Direct Gaming here to talk some gaming today. Uh, it's good to be here with you guys. <laughs> And I, I was just assuming I wasn't sure if you were done, Cass. But um, yeah, yeah, I was going to go off the. Okay, we're going to go off the assumption that uh, you're done. So I'll jump in. Uh, this is Shermanator uh, and uh, another happy member of the direct team signing up with uh, New Legal, and we've got a couple of very interesting topics for today. So uh, sit back, relax, uh, go get your meatloaf sandwich or your ham sandwich, whatever it is you're into, and uh, kick back and enjoy what we're about to bring you. What's good, everybody? I'm glad everybody can be here tonight. You could have been anywhere else in the world, <coughs> but you decided to come out here and listen to us on our show. And for that, we are eternally grateful, and we can respect that. So thank you, for, first and foremost. Second, we're going to take it back in time. We're going to talk some good stuff, but I'm taking it back in time. Ninja Gaiden 3. Hi, Abusa. How y'all doing to all the Ninja Gaiden fans out there across the world? The all right now, today, all right. The topic today, this is direct gaming. For the topic, PlayStation 5, might I offer less GPU power compared to the Xbox Series X and why Sony's PlayStation 5 could be dead already. You guys... There's a lot of bombs going off. There's a lot of people trying to play this stuff off. And it's not going to work. The problem is this, man. Microsoft has worked its butt off. And it showed. 
we didn't have a good year. <clears throat> we didn't have a good year, you know, in 2013. <laughs> that was not a good year for us. And this whole ride hasn't been a good ride. But us true Xbox fans has endured it. And while we endured everything that they could possibly throw at us, through all the hardships, through everything, we was able to come out with one of the most powerful consoles in the universe, and that was the Xbox One X. It took a while to do it, but we here, and we looking better than ever. We were looking funny at first, but we're looking stronger than ever. And listen, it's Direct Gaming, we give credit where credit is due. The PlayStation 4 did what it had to do, and it did what it had to do at an excellent level, selling those consoles, making sure their fan base stuck together, and, and hey, they stuck with it. They got the job done. Their, 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 their gaming console has broke over 100 million sales. They whooped the, the Nintendo fans and the Xbox fans' this generation. Nothing but respect across the board because I, I truly understand a console war. It's nothing personal. It's just business, baby. You have fun with this stuff. The thing is, I'm not no flip-flopper. Xbox is my preferred game and console. I love to play on it. I love the community. And for that, I'm always going to be an Xbox fan. I don't care what ended up happening because I love the console. I love the controller. And I love the games that come out. I love it. So for that, I'm always going to be an Xbox fan. I'm not going to change up. So us over here on Direct Gaming, that's what we're about. The Xbox community. PlayStation hasn't really had to show any kind of hard work because, hey, what's there to show? It's winning. It's the leading console in the world. But that's where the buck stops. For the first time, Sony is in a position... And this is worse than the PlayStation 3 position, man. They're in a they're in a bad position because for the first time in their gaming history, man, they wasn't able to bully a company, keep a company down, keep it destroyed, keep it from coming out. You can't bully Microsoft. Microsoft was that it's that kind of kid that you kept hitting it, knocking it down, but it just kept coming. It just kept coming. And there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. And uh, it's going to be here. It's here, man. It's not going anywhere. And now, I just want to know what Sony going to do. How are they going to present their hard work to their fans, right? How are they going to present themselves to their fans now? Because they got to work hard now. They're underpowered. These are all facts now. I guess they're trying to get this on out the way. They want their fans to know that they're not going to be as powerful as the Xbox. That's on. That's done with. I guess they want to get that on out the way. They don't have no games. I guess they're going to try to... I mean, I know that they're going to spread that VR. And I know their fans aren't too happy about that. But what they got to understand is that's the way it's going to be. I mean, Sony's going to have to work hard to show you something. Like Microsoft has worked hard to show us something. That's my take on it, y'all. Yeah, well, you know uh, <clears throat> how it all started for us back in 2013, man. You know, with the, the magic era and all that stuff. And then, you know, we dealt with a lot. Um, just, you know, like you said, we endured a lot uh, coming through there. You know, we, we, were, we were $100 more expensive, a lower power console compared to PS4. But like you said, we endured it. We got through the hard times. Um, for the last couple of years, you know, we probably haven't had the best exclusives, but at the same time, we hung in there. Um, but what Microsoft was doing, they had to change staff, they had to change their mindset. Phil was in there, but he had some pieces that he had to remove, so he was able to get things, get the shit back right. All right, so, so what I really truly believe that is these last couple of years, instead of just, you know, like Sony was putting out the games, putting out the games, okay, they, they putting out some games, some exclusives so and whatnot, and what they need to do, but at the same time, they were too busy thinking about the here and now, not thinking about the future. Companies that want to move forward, you got to think about the future. You can think about the present, but if you don't think about the future, you're going to be in a situation. 
And that's where they find themselves. They find themselves. Okay, yeah, Ghost of Shima is coming out next year. This next this year, yeah, you got Last of Us Two coming out. But guess what? What's after that? And I predicted pretty much that. Listen, Ghost of Shima and Last of Us Two, we're gonna be PS5 ports. I just figured that that was gonna happen, and I kind of knew that because they delay all the games anyway. So now they're in this situation where what Microsoft have been doing these last couple of years have been preparing for this. You know, with the cloud, with Game Pass, with uh, the online, with, they got all the boxes checked. They're preparing for this moment right now. So when this comes up, they're going to be prepared. Now, as we know, Sony gets started slow every every generation. That's just how they do. But this time, in this generation, it's going to be way different. Because not only Microsoft going to come out swinging with the exclusives and with some third-party deals and stuff like that, it's not only going to stay like it's going to stay like that. It's not going to just start like that. You know, kind of fell off a little bit this generation after that. But this time, they have enough studios and enough talent. And I mean, damn, they take it all the Sony talent. Six, six people from Santa Monica within the last, what, year or something like that? That's nuts. So not only that, they're taking the talent and then they're going to turn it back around and use it against them. Yo, you can't. You, <laughs> I mean, somebody want to take it from here? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, uh, those are excellent. Those are excellent observations, and and it's it's there's a very good reason why you're laughing right now because uh, for someone who has really been paying attention, and if they're going to be totally objective, yeah, it, it is hilarious. Um, it's uh, well, l let me let me just say full disclosure it's hilarious to people like us uh, and and I guess also to, to anyone who's truly open minded uh, now of course you've got your you've got certain individuals who uh, just refuse to acknowledge reality uh, who can't see the forest for the trees as they used to say back in the day uh, but every single point that the two of you have brought up, have, have mentioned, have brought up at this point, um, they're 100% they're logical. And, um, you know, I, I shout out, shout out to Leonard Nimoy, but uh, uh, just, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to put on my Vulcan hat and just stay within the realms of pure logic. Uh, you know, <laughs> Microsoft I, I, let me let me put it like this. A lot of us, for this current generation that we're now seeing, you know, are now experiencing the wind down of our current generation. Uh, for folks like us, and I would imagine for a lot of our, our listeners right now, um, who are diehard Xbox devotees, yeah, this was a pretty, overall, it was a pretty rough generation. Uh, I mean, yeah, we had, uh, as far as uh, Xbox consumers, uh, we had a few shining moments, and um, those cannot be denied. But overall, and, and when I say overall, I mean from the standpoint of um, pop culture, uh, you know, your sales numbers and, and other things that are slowly becoming irrelevant. Uh, and I guess, you know, we've touched on, on that subject in other shows. Um, and I'm sure that topic is never going to go away, not entirely. But overall sales numbers is becoming, is, uh, as far as console sales, is becoming um, a second level priority uh, due to services and, and things, other things of that nature. But overall, from 2013 to now, uh, the Xbox brand has taken a few hits uh, and, and you know rightfully so but I don't necessarily look at it as a bad thing totally because one could argue that if uh, the Don Metric era, era as has already been mentioned if that era was successful if everything that Don Matrix had implemented if it had been successful um, one could argue that we wouldn't have the Xbox One X right now. Uh, 
One could also mm -hmm. argue that maybe we wouldn't have Game Pass. Uh, it could also be argued that we wouldn't that backwards compatibility would not be as ubiquitous as it is right now. I mean, stretching all the way back to even including the OG Xbox games. So, yeah, the, the current generation was eh, it was a bit rough, but there were more than a few shining moments, and, and I'll go so far as to even include um, our exclusives com compared to the PlayStation exclusives. Um, yeah, PS4 had more, as far as volume, yeah, they had more exclusives. But, I mean, the exclusives that the Xbox brand has, you could easily argue the point that um, our exclusives have more staying power. I mean, if you look at uh, Forza Horizon 4, for instance, that game is still, as far as the NPD sales numbers, and, you know, here we go again with sales, but if you're going to use that as a metric... Forza Horizon 4 is still registering within the top 10. Still. Mm. After what? How long has it been out? Two and a half years, maybe? Something like so, that. So, right, right, right. So, um, one could argue that did we, do we have as many exclusives currently? No. But the exclusives that we do have um, has immense staying power. So, um, Keep yep. in mind that the all, franchises. Right, oh, exactly. So, so <laughs> that's, that's all that. Power right there. Oh, yeah, hey, but, exactly. So, go ahead. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, but with all of that, Sony has to do something, y'all. Sony has to has to prove to their audience that they're willing to work hard for them, man. <laughs> I don't see it. Well, well, I, well obviously they gotta respond, right? They gotta. They're respond. gonna have to respond. Um. There's the, at this point, it doesn't even matter what's going on with Microsoft because Microsoft has already at least put their stuff out. They done put their stuff out, um, and it's it's time for Sony mm -hmm. to react, to respond to it. it and and they're not. It's almost as if, you well, know, the whole mm -hmm. narratives have just got them in trouble, man. The whole the whole narrative well, has just got them in trouble. <clears throat> well, legal. Let me let me ask you a simple question. Mm -hmm. If you're uh, uh, if you're an executive mm -hmm. within uh, the uh, Sony universe. I see you, E names. Uh, What's up, boy? Go ahead. Specifically, if 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 you're an executive within Sony, specifically within the PlayStation arm of Sony, um, my question to you is this: If your tactics worked during this current generation that we're now in, and we're uh, right at the entrance of the next generation. So if you're an executive within Sony and you're thinking to yourself, hmm, we could change our tactics going forward or we could do the same thing that got us uh, just over 100 million units in sales. Uh, we could do the exact same thing with our quote unquote online presence. Um, we could do, you know, whatever it is that we did to that represents a, at least on the outside looking in, it represents a model of business success. So why would I, or well, since I pose the question to you as a Sony executive, why would you, why would you want to change the narrative if it's worked for you so far? Right. Do you, do you see I gotta my jump point? in there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I gotta jump in there. What you gotta understand, Sherm, is right now there's a different staff there now at Sony. Sean Lay is not there anymore. Sean Lay came to the table. He wants. He wanted more games. He wanted. I'm sorry, less games, bigger franchise. That that's what he wanted. But now he's not there. Matter of fact, he's ghost. We don't even know where he is or what he's doing. So he they got Jim be, Ryan. He could sneak over. He, he could be sneak. He could be sneaking over here on the Xbox side of things. <laughs> well, we don't know. The way that it's going, it could be. But the thing is, see now, that way that you're speaking of Sherman, oh, why would you change? Yeah, yeah. Yes, you're right. But 
the fact is, it's going to change because there's different staff. So that's that Sean Layton was the one that had it going the way it was going. He wanted that that path. Have now they're taking a different one. Not only not only taking a different path, they signed with Microsoft or Azure. You know what I mean? They 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 that engagement numbers now something they didn't do in the beginning of the gym. All this different stuff is changing. So now you have to say now try to answer that question. Legal? I mean, I don't know. No, I mean, I mean, you're right. I mean, now it's at the point where, um, to me, they're gonna have to look, man. I think the main thing that's gonna hurt Sony isn't so much the price. It's the way Microsoft is doing it, right? They're gonna say, okay, you're gonna play that little price game. But here's the thing: if we customize our own chip, we do our own thing, right? And we and we make it to where it's affordable. But at the same time, make a monster out of it, then it's not going to matter anymore about that Sony PlayStation 5 being so cheap. Because the thing is, it's perfect for you to have the new tech with the what newer tech coming that's not so far advanced. That's that Zen 3. That Zen 3 is only 8% more powerful than than the current than the current um. Uh, Zen 2 chip, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. so m with Microsoft knowing that they're poised, man, to look good for the next uh, generation because they can. They know that the part, the, the parts are cheaper. They know that if they are going to go with a, another um, console that's um, going to be cheaper, for instance, if the Lockhart is true, that's going to be a major uh, distraction for. Uh, but Sony as well, man. Because then well, with Sony just, you'll be able to mm -hmm. you'll be they'll be able to maximize they'll be able to maximize both consoles. Because what end up happening mm -hmm. is that Lockhart will be able to still do the things that the PlayStation 5 are gonna be able to do. But the thing is, it's gonna have the games. See it's gonna come now to them games. And and the Lockhart is still gonna be one that, that features uh ray tracing. It's gonna have all of that. It ain't gonna it's not just because it's gonna be the, the lesser one doesn't mean it's not going to have that technology in it because we already know all it takes is what four teraflops of power or what and uh what uh what the x has in it basically to reach 4k that's not the problem they know that now so if, if the lock is going to be a little bit more powerful than the uh i mean i'm sorry six teraflops i'm sorry so if the if the lock can be shoot man eight eight teraflops it still can it still can mount up to the PlayStation 5. Yeah, what they're saying for uh, with a better CPU. Mm -hmm. what they're saying uh, with the with the net, with the I'm sorry with the Ryzen CPU in there. Uh, it's gonna be four teraflops. Um, but of course, four teraflops with Navi is different than the regular, which is right. more efficient. You gotta look at new tech. Than... That's what I was saying. You gotta look at new tech. Yeah, it's not gonna be the same, and so... that's what people think. They think that just because it's it's um. The, 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 the numbers may be lower they're looking at that as less power but it's not because you're looking at new generational mm -hmm. chips that don't require mm -hmm. so much power anymore it doesn't require that mm -hmm. yeah. but even at the price point you look at you say you say uh, yeah well, well what somebody doesn't want to do I tell you what they don't want to do they don't want to come in at a price point if they come in at a price point at $500 Microsoft's going to eat them alive because what they're gonna do? They were just coming at 499. Because now you this. got two, two, mm -hmm. two consoles at the same price. Mm -hmm. One with more power, and then you get the lock card down there at 300 bucks or whatever it's gonna be. And then on top of that, my everybody forget about the all access plan. Jokers forgot about that. Listen, if I can't afford the 499, can I get it? Can I can I do this like I do my phone? Can I come in on an all access plan and get it thirty thirty five dollars a month? I get everything, Game Pass and it all. I bought a I bought a um the system. Don't have to pay for any games right away. And then you know what? Huh. I maybe I don't even want to do that. So I'll go with the lock arm. They got every end covered here, man. They got a plan even if you can't afford the big thing. So it's like listen, you they they better come in, Sony. Their best bet would be to come in at three ninety nine. That would be their best bet. <laughs> well, you know what? That and again, excellent points, um, especially in regards to the uh, all access. 
uh, which you and you're absolutely right. That's something that a lot of people I think they know about it. But again, let's be honest. Within the past month, uh, we all experienced basically as far as on the Xbox side, information overload. And in the past week, of course, uh, with the all but legitimate leak about the true power of the PlayStation Five. Uh, that, with that information rolling out, um, you know, all the information that we've had available, it's, it, it could be a bit overwhelming. But with that being said, uh, uh, those are va very valid points all around. You know, um, uh, the other night I was uh, I was watching on YouTube. Uh, I was watching Brad Sam. Shout out to him. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure you guys are well aware of what he does. Mm -hmm. uh, his um, deep, deep connections within the uh, Xbox universe and Microsoft in general. And he mentioned something uh, very interesting in mm. regards to the PlayStation 5 setup and the possibilities of how Microsoft is going to handle the entire rollout. Um, mm. And of course, he, he can only say so much. Uh, but he left enough information out there to where you can kind of draw some pretty, I think some pretty accurate predictions um, mm -hmm. to where regardless, see, regardless of what Sony does uh, with PlayStation 5 as far as especially in pricing um, they can, you know, with, with the with the power specs that have been released for the PlayStation 5 that have been leaked um is it reasonable to assume that they'll come out at like three ninety nine? Yeah, probably. Maybe even four ninety nine. But let's just say, for the sake of discussion, that PlayStation Five comes out at three ninety nine. Okay. All right. So with the Lockhart, and again, as you've already mentioned, yeah, it's a little bit less powered than the Series X. But it's still using the Navi architecture, so mm -hmm. that still means it's going to be at least as powerful as the Xbox One X right. that we mm -hmm. currently have. It's going to be at mm -hmm. least that powerful, but possibly because of the Navi system, it may be even a little more powerful than the current Xbox One X. Oh yeah, so, so mm -hmm. right, right, right. So. So let's just say the PlayStation 5 comes out at a price of $400. $399.99. It would be very easy for Microsoft to release the Lockhart, let's just say at $299. Mm -hmm. But realistically, I, say, I, I would predict they would do it at $349. Between $299 and $349. Yep. <laughs> So, so, two, so two nine nine and three forty nine. Is that what you said? What you said? I'm sorry. Yes, yes. So the lock cart would be between three hundred dollars and three hundred fifty dollars if mm -hmm. Sony releases the PlayStation Five at three ninety nine. Yeah. So if I would PlayStation say 5, I would say two nine. I think two ninety nine would be the sweet spot. Yeah. Oh, oh I think. But uh, yeah, hundred dollars cheaper. Saying, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so in other words, uh, and then make your and then them, make your, your and then the Series X five hundred, because well, well, exactly. really, what, what you got to realize is that the, the, the X we paid five hundred dollars for it already, so we don't mind spending another five hundred is nothing. You know well, and, and, and right. see, that's with the point. with with way more power now. <laughs> well, see, and, and see, and that's the point because um, um, Microsoft has proven. Get all right. uh, and, and this was a and this was a this was another thing that Brad Sam's kind of touched on a couple uh -huh. of days ago, that um, there were, and he, it's, it's interesting, you know, he, he kind of uh, leaked out a little bit of internal squabbling that was going on at Microsoft for a little bit of time uh, when they initially decided that they were going to release um, the initial, the, the first version of the Elite Controller. Um, there was a certain segment 
that didn't want to do it because they say, well, wait a minute, if we're going to create a controller that can do all of this and it's going to be this high quality, you, you do realize that we're going to have to charge at least 120, 150 bucks for it. And there, and there was certain group of people that said, nope, we don't want to do it. Nope, that's too expensive. Nobody's going to buy a controller for $150. And so eventually, um, those naysayers within Microsoft were won over. And then they decided to just, you know, go go for it. But yeah, but well, what does... So, so, what does so, it... Wait, wait, let me finish. Wait, hang on, hang on. So, here, so what happened is that the people within there decided, okay, we're going to take the risk. Because they already were using, they were planning to use that as a barometer to verify, well, if this will work, and if this will draw out the power users, well, then that means that we can convince those same power users to invest in a higher spec console. So as we all know, um, the sales went through the roof for the Elite Controller. In fact, the back orders were something like six months back. I mean, it was six months deep for back orders when that thing first came out. Um, so then you got that, which, as far as internally, they say, oh, well, well, I guess those power those power users do exist. Well, all right, well, then full steam ahead on the Xbox One X. Xbox One X comes out, bona fide hit, um, sells at least 10 million consoles uh, of just the X. Some, some mm -hmm. depending on where you go, some say it's even higher than that. But it's been at least 10 million of those mm -hmm. consoles. So yeah. now, and for some time so, there, it was even out selling the Pro for a little bit. Right, right, exactly. So, so, what does that do looking forward? You've got Lockhart can be on the low end. Mm -hmm. Series X can be on the high end. So what happens is that Sony gets sandwiched. Mm -hmm. They get sandwiched in. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. and, and if you think about it, that puts them thing. in a very precarious position. Right. Simply because remember, they they won't know which way to go. It and remember all the people choices. in the beginning were thinking, were saying, you know, the uh, the one S is out. You know, when the one S was out, and then the X dropped. Oh, find it out. Nobody gonna want to pay that much. It's just a hardcore. Just a, then you started getting the casuals buying the X. Right. And see, that's right. what's gonna happen with this time. It's got the same thing gonna happen, but even more so because now we're we're providing all of you all these options now, more so than we did even before. Yeah, exactly. But just even taking a yeah. Well, what I'm but just even is, taking a look what at what the heck go ahead, is Sony go ahead, go ahead, going to do about having that, the lowest power and having no games? I get all of okay. that. Uh, so what that's, are they going to do? This is about oh, what, what Sony's that's, gonna do. Oh, oh, I know what they're gonna do. There, you know what? Let's just look. One thing about us, and um, I mean, of course. There are a few people in both camps who are like just totally fanatical and can be somewhat illogical. But I think for the most part, Xbox devotees um, are pretty realistic. And with that being said, you have to acknowledge Sony's strengths. And Sony's one of Sony's main strengths up to now is marketing. What are they going to mark? Sony now? knows how to, Sony, so, but no, Sony knows how to twist the narrative. Though. Right. So they know how to be? spin something. The narrative um, is going to be what they did before. It's going to be the spin. They're going to get yeah, third that, party. That, they're going to get third party deals. Argument. They're going to throw. Right. They're going to throw some indies when out the there. When the developers don't want to put their games on. When the developers don't want their games to play at a lower grade. Xbox is why Xbox well, has been getting all the markets. So how they well, going to do that now? But what you gotta understand, Sony has still has a worldwide net recognition in their brand. Right. Yeah. They're, right. And, 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 they and they're still, and this is a new, it's a new generation, but they still have all the customers out there. They have, so they'll start. They're, they're gonna have to. Not, and shit gonna be ready. So people talking, oh, God of War, Spider-Man. Listen, them, them, right. those games just dropped. You're not gonna have those ready. But what so are what they you have market? to do? What did? What What are they gonna market? Yeah. Right, so what are they gonna market? They, got God they have no game. They have no. Okay. What else? They got Godfall. So Godfall is a PlayStation they'll, they'll 4 game. Got Godfall. They How they gonna that, market PlayStation? Be, that will be. 
Uh, I'm have saying, to how they it. gonna find it? How they gonna do that? Well, what are they yeah, gonna do to well, work First of all, they gotta to get... react. Right. What are they gonna first do? First they gotta to react work? to. Um, right. You know the, the the information that Microsoft just dropped. Now tomorrow, are they gonna give us some information on a date where they're gonna present the hardware, or are they gonna actually present the hardware tomorrow? It's it's, it's gonna be one or the other. Now. So, some people think they're not going to say it. myself. I don't think they're going to show you myself. That's just what I'm thinking. But I'm thinking that they'll make an announcement based on when they're going to have this event. Now, my opinion is too is that I think Microsoft might even show up. Now that's right. something else. They might show up and say, "Hey, guess what? Our DNA too, in an AMD and a Navi. That's what we're doing." And that'll that'll be like, damn. Because, see, nobody's expecting Microsoft to make the moves that they're making. People are expecting Sony to come out and say, listen, because they're the more, usually the more aggressive ones, right? This that we're seeing from Microsoft. Nobody's used to seeing that. And it's catching everybody off guard. So, tomorrow, true. what's nobody's, Sony going to do? That's right. What's nobody's so used to Microsoft mm -hmm. being aggressive. That's facts. Yeah. And nobody's see, used to now, now being see, now you since, see since Peter Moore, a, since the Peter Moore now, day. Now, see, Kaz, you made a good point here. Now, that's what I was talking about when I said... Now we see what Microsoft is doing. We see Microsoft has changed. Now what is PlayStation going to do? Don't tell me they're going to do marketing because what are they going to market? They don't have nothing to market. What are they going to well, market? Well, that's the. But see, that's the thing. We know. Well, the latest is they're grabbing third-party deals. Which ones they're grabbing, I don't know. Um, that's 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 amazing. Uh, Aside from VR, VR, they could do that and come out and display PSVR too. But how far is that going to go? You see what I'm saying? Right. Well, you know, that's... I mean, you know, well, that's true. I they, mean... they, 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 they invested 600 million in that, into that. <laughs> see what well, I'm and see, and but, and you're right. But see, in my own personal opinion, my own personal opinion is that if Sony was smart, uh, they would just promote the dog doo-doo out of VR. Because let's just I keep it told, real. I already said that, yep. I said right, that. Right. That's what people Sony don't believe. Is the only, Sony is the only console player uh, that's putting into that. They're, they're the only mainstream. Cause, I mean, yeah, you got Oculus. Um, you've uh, you got a, a few of the other ones. Um, but as far as a "Quote unquote mainstream," because when it comes to VR, you ha when you oh. attach the term mainstream, it kind of carries a different connotation to it. But with that being said, Sony's the only console maker who um, actually has that much invested in yeah, bona fide VR. On right, yeah. right. So, as far as I'm concerned, if they were really smart. Um, their best bet would be to invest even more into that. Well, that's what they plan Excuse on doing. Me. But let me ask. You, let me ask you a question. When you say invest more into that, do you think they should? That should be their focal point, maybe tomorrow, or should they? Should they? <laughs> when they well, I think they yes. should do this. But I'm gonna ask you. Do you think they should come out and 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 bundle in VR with the system? No, well, you know what? I think if it were, if it weren't for what happened with the Connect, um, I think they probably would. I think they would be tempted to do that um, to bundle in VR. I don't think they will. But if if it was if it came right down to it, as far as getting back to Legal's original question, mm -hmm. what can they do? What can they they do? don't have the games. They don't have the game. Mm -hmm. They don't have the power narrative anymore. Um, right. and, well, and realistically, they haven't had the power narrative for the past couple of years. That's right. So that trend is just going to continue. So they can't brag about power. They can't brag about upcoming games. Uh, so can't brag about ecosystem. As, right. So as, they definitely can't brag about they, service. They can't brag about PS now. They can't. They can't brag about an online presence. Because everybody, even, I mean, let's be real, even your diehard, even your diehard Sony devotees, even your diehard Sony fans, hmm. they recognize that Xbox Live is the premier online service. 
they know that. Mm -hmm. They may never even say it publicly, but deep down they know. Oh yeah. So yeah, right. and, and 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 let's just keep it real. The Sony executives know. So they they can't brag about their PlayStation, uh, PlayStation Online. So they don't have that. They don't have the power narrative. They don't have the games narrative, at least not right now. So, as far as I can tell, that leaves Sony with two options. Option one would be for them to just focus in on VR. Option two would be for them to do what they quietly did in late, in mid to late 2018, early 2019, mm -hmm. uh, which if you recall, the PlayStation 5 was originally slated to release in holiday 2019. It was supposed to have been out right now. But so you're when they found out, it early. Well, I, no, well, well, see, here's the thing. Could they drop it early? Maybe. I don't think that would be smart. But then the other narrative, as far as in that same category, if if they felt so, and I don't want to say they're panicking, but if they felt so threatened by the Damn. fact that they're they're coming in so underpowered, what would be what would stop them from saying, you know what, we're gonna have to push this thing back again. We're gonna have to go back and add more to our our upcoming console. Yeah, uh, that's the power money, narrative. Yeah. It's more money, but I mean, there, Sony. It's, we all know Sony's so focused on console sales, right. so they may be inclined to think that well, you know what? That's going to cost us more money now, but we'll make up that money on the back end by selling a whole lot more consoles, a whole lot more PlayStation Fives. Which, if we increase the power narrative then that may attract more developers and at least we got to make it on par with the series x and so if that means they had they would have to not release in holiday 2020 but maybe summer of 2021 maybe yeah, that's, that's what gonna, they would have that's, to do that's going to kill them from the gate because you remember what happened with the 360 when the 360 got that lead on them it was over it's like this um, machine with me right now, just killing me, bro, over and over. Man. I just think, what do you think about them getting getting back into um, the, the handheld thing? I don't want to talk about that. I'm talking about what the heck are we, what's Sony going to do? That's what I'm saying. Well, that, I, like, they ain't going to get in no hand, handheld. ain't going to save them. That ain't going to save them. No, gonna yeah, save Switch them. got that covered. Handheld Switch ain't going to save them all day. Yeah, I don't intend to. Because yeah. cause now it's yes. all about power. That handheld ain't finna do nothing for him. It ain't finna do nothing for him. That's why I wanted to make this show tonight. I don't think nobody's got the answer for it. They're just hoping and wishing just like well, anybody I, else I right now. But this you. is like hilarious. I, it's hilarious right now to me. Well, I always have said that once, you know, the power narrative is out. Once the games, you know, they said, you know, we don't got the games. Once we got all these other boxes checked and covered, which Microsoft was going to have that, I always said the next narrative is going to be, listen, we got VR and you don't. And you know how they came at Phil before. It's like, oh, you lied. You said it was going to be on the X. And you were gonna... no, he never right. said it was going to be there. He said the system is capable of VR. That's what he said. So the thing is, you know, that's a narrative that they can run with. I mean, and I said they would. Let's see what they do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that they've got one of two choices. Just double down, double mm -hmm. down. Hey, well, you know what? Screw screw double down, triple mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. on the VR category. I mean, they, it, but they're going to have they to have could, some games for that, too. Well, they, yeah, so. that's true. They, and, and, and you know what? For all we know, maybe that's what they're planning to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be interesting oh God, if they did tough. make that announcement. Yeah. Um, um, but e if they don't, if they don't, then the only other choice I think that they could run with is they will just, it, it would just be in their best interest. Yeah, it's going to cost them more money, but 
in the long run, it would be in their best interest to just go ahead and delay for, I'm not going to say another year, uh, but at least six months. Um, just delay the entire release of it. Uh, add some more components to it. Up the power, up the power output. Um, at least make it on par with the Series X, and then, you know, it. In, and now that I think about it, if they were to delay, if I get off this not only <laughs> would they be, not only would they be able to increase the power output of their console right. to put it on par with the X but for all we know that also would buy them some time to have more content more gaming content yeah. I think within the first year you know they've got some stuff coming they're probably going to have it. I think Horizon Zero is going to alright that's going to be available within the first I, I think spring of 2021 that will drop that's my opinion on that Okay, because it's not gonna be ready for a while. So they'll have that. They'll have maybe a couple of things exclusively within the within the first eight months. You know, what I'm saying to get that going there for them. But in the meantime, they'll ride the VR, they'll ride the remasters, and that's how they're probably gonna go. It's just the way uh, you know they'll ride uh, Godfall. Godfall is gonna be there for. It's gonna be. On their console oh for I think a year or six months I I forget what it is and then it's gonna go to PC eventually right and uh, yeah. so they'll ride that one um, and you know who else knows what other ones that they you know, may possibly have but I think um, you know it's gonna be back to what they did before um, what did they do before this gen. in in, in but the beginning what? they they were re they were remasters but how Remember? was that they had a couple of but how they was had, that going to take Infamous away second son. being underpowered and and um, don't have a price point to match Xbox being more powerful but being uh, <laughs> great with the price point how what is Sony's answer to that mm -hmm. I still it's haven't been. got an answer for that it's yeah. been it's been now I'm not going to say that they're going to just straight up lie mm -hmm. but they'll stretch <laughs> the truth They'll stretch it. They'll stretch the truth. Yeah, they'll stretch the truth. They're, I mean, what other choice would they have? Well, they've done if, that before. If, so. well, and that's <laughs> my point. That, and, uh, <laughs> you know what, Fat Kaz, Kaz, now you see where I was going. Yeah. The, the, the record keeps spinning. Right. The circle so finally think, is complete. So, so you think that Sony's going to spin that same record and, and it's going to work. Now, now, now that everybody knows yeah, the possibilities of what they're going to do, Brother. you think it's going to work? Look, legal. Let's I know. just keep it real, okay? Look, look. There, there is the pop. There's the consumer population. The ed, there's the educated consumer, right? And then there's the not so educated consumer. Uh, and within the educated consumer base, you've got a certain uh, percentage of those who even can arguably be said. That they're smarter than the executives that make certain decisions within certain companies. You know, we could see we're we're, we're in the streets. You know, we talk about that all the time. Right. So we, you know, we we got our nose to the ground. We we know we we got our ear to 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 the wall. We 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 can we pick up on stuff. So for us, we know we can we know the game. But see, you've got a lot of people <laughs> out here yep. who are not. They don't even know about who, it. Who are not I, as I, right. Who are right, not I as know. invested in it. Right. Who don't really. Don't even. Don't, don't even really study about what they buy. Yeah, they just buy because right. they buy. Right. Exactly. I know. I know. Oh yeah, exactly. just buy because it, it say PlayStation, or it'll say right. only on PlayStation, and they'll get that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not right. knowing that it's only a six-month exclusivity mm -hmm. or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. just like they remember that stranding thing. Death Stranding was supposed to come on PC, but they're advertising right. it only on PlayStation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a perfect example. Right, right, right. So I mean, so, you know, uh, so you guys think the only on PlayStation thing is gonna work? Oh my god! 
for a certain <clears throat> segment of the population, it will. Uh, I would like to believe it'll work. We're at a point right now. Well, and that's what I was going to say. I would like to believe that mm -hmm. um, we're at a point right now where uh, there the the percentage of educated consumers, especially in the gaming realm, has grown. So while that tactic will still work, uh, the amount of people that it will work on will be drastically mm -hmm. reduced. I right. don't think it's going to be right. as, as successful. It'll still be successful, but I don't think it's going to be as successful. And a lot of it also, let's just to be truthful, is going to depend on how well Microsoft counters whatever spin that they try and throw out there, that Sony tries to put out there, uh, because they're going to well, try. But that's why they, that, yeah, that well, that's why Mike, it was important for Microsoft to come out and do what they did at the Game Awards, because now that's that's them just being like, hey, listen, we putting our stuff down first, you know. Yeah. Now you, 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 they got to react. You see what I'm saying? And well, that's what we say, you know. A lot of times, well, know, Sony finds themselves in a, in a situation where they got to react. Um, well, I mean, not entirely. I didn't know, you know why I wouldn't let me do that last time. <laughs> and, that's, and that's one of the things that has always annoyed me in the past mm -hmm. uh, uh, with E3, with the E3, where Microsoft would always go first. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. And then once they put but, their information out, but, Sony would, they would counter. In right, fact, right. let's let's let, let's let's we, remember, folks. But we, but we quick know history that, lesson. Right. Quick, Go ahead. Right. Sir. But quick history, history lesson. lesson. Yeah. Remember, remember when the PlayStation Four and the Xbox One were first released, when the information first came out about both systems before E3 in 2013. Right. Nobody knew officially. What the price point of each console was going to be, right? But it right. was all but confirmed that the price of both systems were going to be the same. But look, the PlayStation that... Four was supposed to release at four ninety nine, right? But we... they didn't know. That's right. That Xbox it wasn't confirmed. So when Xbox went first. Right. I said, "Oh, we're you know the Xbox One is going to come it up, easy for and Sony it's going to retail up. for four ninety nine, right. and mm -hmm. Sony at the last minute, exactly. I mean, literally within twenty four hours, less than that, because right. they the went on the next day. That's right, right. Yeah. They went on and said, up, oh, they dropped it by a hundred dollars, right, and that was not their original intent. Well, mm -hmm. now they've always done that. Sony's always gone on second after right. Microsoft would be first. Well, but now." This year is different. Well, they, they didn't even come. Uh, they didn't even come. First of all, first no, no, of all, no, 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 no. I'm talking. No, I'm, there's that. I'm, right. I'm talking. No, I'm talking about this year in 2020. You know, mm. they Sony has already said that if they show up at E3, they're going to go first. Right. That's if they show. Yeah. Well, well, well you got to. But, but well, see because you got to Sony ain't showed up to five shows in a row. <laughs> right. But here's well, let me but, but let me say something. But let me say something. We're talking about. PlayStation having data that reveals 36 custom Navi compute units. Now, I talked to Kaz long time ago and told him about the PlayStation was going to use the Navi. They were going to use that Navi system, mm -hmm. but it wasn't going to be on the same level as the as the Scarlet when it was called the, when the new Xbox Series X was called Scarlet. The Xbox Series right. X it says to pack 56 Navi units with a higher That's CPU right. bandwidth. See, that's the key. That's right. Do you not see the customizations that are going on? Gigs of more bandwidth. But look, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the the GPU bandwidth. So that means it's gonna open up his lanes and make it easier for streamers, broadcasters, right. um, um, right. people who like to record, uh, people who like the video content, uh, people who like to uh, uh, co-stream. See, they and you know we were talking people about, like us. That's right. We were talking about all the issues that we've been having, especially on Mixer. Trying, to, we want Mixer to be better the next go around. Well, we got confirmation now. It's going to be not just better next go around. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. Right. And then it said it's that be the best. The the key. That's right. The key to this is that Phil Spencer himself has already hinted at 12 teraflops output for Xbox. They've already hinted at that, right? 
So the point I'm trying to make is, that's right. The point I'm trying to make is, if the PlayStation is reportedly to max out at 9.2 teraflops and 30% lower, we look, look, see, here's the thing. The Xbox One S is considered 40% weaker than the X. And the, well, mm -hmm. I don't, I may, I may have that wrong. I'm not. I'm, I'm no, sure. wait a minute. Yeah. Let me word that right. The Xbox One X is 40% more powerful than all consoles on the market. 40%. Now, if the now if the PlayStation 5 will max out at 9.2 and it's 30% weaker than the than the Xbox Series X, bro, that is substantially that's a big substantial difference. That's not like a 10% difference or a 15%. Because even at 20, you start to see a difference. But at 30, that's just 20% lesser than 50%, y'all. This is a big deal. Okay, this so is we, what I'm saying. And that's just in yeah. that's just in um, max power capabilities. We're not talking about the overall and gen, uh, general features and things that are going to go into the Xbox One X. It's going to murder this thing when it comes to the features right. and everything. This is what I'm talking yeah. about. The AMD Zen so 2 So what's going to end up happening? The, the, hold on. The AMZ Zen 2 cores, right, for the processing needs. Mm -hmm. Uh, th th this thing is saying while graphics will be handed by 36 custom Navi compute units clocked at 200,000 megahertz, the GD the GDDR6 memory, on the other hand, send a tick at 448 gigabytes per second or a max speed of 512 gigabytes per second. Right? A rough estimate of the raw GPU output delivered by the 36 custom Navi compute units. With these leaks, specifically specifications that give a 9.2 teraflops of GPU power, and we're getting this people from Gadgets 360. This is from Gadgets 360, the article. Now my question is, if the Xbox, if that was the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X is said to have a pack of a 56 custom Navi GPU units clocked at 1700 mega megahertz, bro. Mm -hmm. Did you did you hear what I said? Mm -hmm. The 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 now mm -hmm. you see something right? This is where people don't get it. If the Navi size is bigger. Everything. Watch this. Now watch this. They're gonna say, aha, <sighs> the seven hundred megahertz compared to the two the twenty the two thousand megahertz. So PlayStation is gonna be more powerful. But what they don't understand is their custom Navi compute units is smaller. The the X has mm -hmm. fifty six custom Navi com GPU units. Twenty units smaller. GPU no, no. units. See, there's a difference. Y'all yeah. listen to me. The PlayStation 5 has a 36 custom Navi compute unit. The the mm. Xbox One X has a 56 custom Navi GPU units that are clocked. Mm. There's a there's like a difference there. With the bandwidth of the GDR6, the GDDR6 memory is comparatively higher at 560 giga bits per second now the 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 the, the PlayStation actually about 5 has, right the places of 5 has 512 but the 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 x is going to have 560 and it said it's right and here it is this is what i was saying here's the difference riding on top it's of actually eight. more than that dorian it, it could be but i'm saying it's right but here's the here's mm -hmm. where the bread and butter meets the stick bro riding on top mm -hmm. of eight zen 2 cores Riding mm. on top of eight Zen 2 cores, the leak figure delivered is much higher GPU. That, there, there, there it goes with Cassan. With an output of 12 teraflops going up, going up to 12.2 teraflops. Now, now, what is Sony gonna do when right. these consoles come out do? and they're underpowered? They have no games because they're gonna rely on their PlayStation 4. And this, and that's the sad part because the the PlayStation 4 games that are really a big deal haven't been a big deal in over a year now nobody's playing them they're not even on the stat sheets they're gone they have disappeared the they only have two games and we know the last of us two is going to sell nobody's saying it's not yeah. going to sell but it's not going to matter I, I, that's what i want to say right. right now on the record playstation 4 the cycle of playstation 4 is over with the last of us mm -hmm. two came at the last minute <laughs> It, it, it would have done better if it had came out last year, but because it's coming on the last, the last cycle, the last year of it, it's not gonna matter. They're gonna take this thing, 
and they're going to make it a PlayStation 5. What they want you to do is come on over to the PlayStation 5 and carry over your PlayStation 4. I get it. That's your, that's your version mm-hmm. of back compat. But the problem is this. The last <laughs> of the two... They hope they have back and back. <laughs> well, they... Well, look. Certain games. There you go. It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's kind of like what Shermanator and you are talking about. You gotta... And what my man E-Rock say. You gotta half believe what you see and half believe what you hear, mm-hmm. right? There you go. It's that smoke and mirror thing. The last because of the Because you know the latest rumors is they're supposed to have them all the way back to PS1. No. Nah. Which... I don't see that's going to happen. Listen, man. I don't want to listen. <laughs> yeah. Don't look. Jeez. We're not. Look, man. <laughs> Come Please. on. Man. We're you know not. What? Yeah, we're not. I, wish, I, I really <laughs> wish I had my I wish I had my turn. But see, right I'm now. And I would put on. I would you put just wanted flavor. to say that, I would put Flavor Flav on right now. That's what I'm saying, I would put, bro. Flav, I would put I Public Enemy on. Don't believe the hype. I, I would, for real. Don't believe the hype. Listen, man. Right. If that. Don't. Look, we're not even going to go into a lesson. Don't believe the hype. Right. We're not going into... But this is what they're right. going to do, We're not, we're not going gonna into do. a lesson as to why that's not going to happen with the PlayStation 3 yeah. and all its changes. We're not going to get into that. I want to stay focused on why it's going to fail. They got articles out here, man. Are y'all not... Look, CCN.com. Yeah, is saying Sony's that. PlayStation could be dead already, yeah. people. This is not... This is no gimmicks. This is what I'm trying to... I'm trying to put this out here. And people are always talking about, yo, you praying, praying on another company's downfall. Listen, bro, these companies make billions of dollars, millions and billions of dollars. I don't care. These companies know what each other do. If they're not paying my bills, I don't care. The thing that I do as a consumer is to be a smart one. You ride with the one that can work, the one Mm -hmm. that works hard, the one that makes the money. And And in my line of defense... I've learned in my days of hustling, you never go against Mr. Big Bank. That's a foolish decision. So when you're Ride rooting the one for that the, knows how to do business decisions. That's, that's right, bro. When you're mm-hmm. rolling with the yep. the small bankster, and then you wonder why mm-hmm. the small bankster don't hold off it's hold up for you in the long run, because see, money is long. Your money has to be long. Everybody's mm-hmm. heard that terminology. My money's long. What yes, that sir. means is your money has to endure. It has to be able to run track, yeah. and it and it's a sprint. Yeah. It's a marathon. It, yeah. Your money can't be a a a a, a forty yard dash. Uh, you're not trying to get yeah. a four point two second uh, timer on your money. You want that bad boy to go for years and years and years and years. <coughs> and I told everybody that Microsoft has a forty year plan, a forty year plan for the company. It's it's deeper than gaming. Gaming is they're just using this, but Microsoft. Is is going down as going to be one of the most defensive companies for the world. M- remember what I said for the world. There's a lot of things going on in this world that's going crazy. Microsoft is going to be one of these companies that are going to be a great defender when this world goes crazy. The resources at hand, all these things that are going on, the governments of this world has attacked Microsoft because Microsoft is a rebel. That's why I invested in Microsoft, because I'm a rebel by nature. I like to do my own thing, especially if it's going to look like it's going to benefit for the good. I can ride with that. So now that I know that my money is being invested in a custom in a company that has that kind of a demeanor. And 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 mind you that Microsoft won the lawsuits against the, the against the governments. Every government that went up against it, it ended up beating it. What the governments wanted Microsoft to do was to settle, and Microsoft didn't settle. Why? Because their money is long. Why isn't Mantle in the game today? And why does Mantle have to hide behind the name Vulcan now from the Kronos Group Incorporated, where NVIDIA and all them come together and and comprise with OpenGL? Why did they hide that? Because a Microsoft DirectX was too powerful for it and smacked it around. That's why in 2019... Mantle isn't even in gaming in the gaming industry anymore like that. It had to be taken out. There's only there's only two low APIs now, and that's Vulcan and DirectX. Those are the most reliable ones. On top of uh Metal, Metal, I'm sorry, because Amazon um, uh, or Amazon uses that. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Apple. They let Apple do that. So there's three great components right now. All the rest flopped. And if you think that Sony can't flop, then you're silly. Microsoft can flop. Apple can flop. 
if they don't put their money right, any company can flop. <clears throat> but when but yeah, but you right don't see the ring of death, man. Right, that's <clears throat> right. But when you see articles, and it's amazing to me how the the 360 occurred, right? I mean, Sony hasn't even had a year to celebrate their their success with the PlayStation 4, man. Are y'all not seeing that? Like, the PlayStation 4 did some marvelous things with its sales, and yet, here we are, January the 3rd, or January the 4th, I'm sorry, and we got articles talking about the PlayStation 5 could already be dead. That's a big deal, man. When you look at the stock, I and will. I remember me and Cash would get laughed at about stocks, but the stocks tell you everything mm. about a company. When you go and look at Microsoft, hundred, a hundred, a hundred more. They go. got a hundred more shares than Sony. A hundred <laughs> more shares, man. A hundred more. But it's this is what's going to have to happen, um, Dorian. So Chairman me. mentioned, you know, that Sony has a has a. They're going to be in a situation where they're going to have to make a decision, right? They're going to uh, do the same thing that they were doing this gen, or they're going to, you know, delay the system. And what did you say? You felt it was the summer, Sherman. Is that what you said? Yeah, I said uh, at at least six months. Okay, so six months. All right. If that happens, they're gonna get killed. They're gonna get wiped the floor with. But that, but so that could, you know, that's that's an option. But what's gonna have to happen here is is the is the option that we all make fun of, and we've been making fun of them, and we've got, I know I've been laughing about it. Is since they come out, they came out with this underpowered system as compared to. You know the Series X. You know what's gonna come. For, you know what's gonna come down the line within about a year and a half. What's gonna come? PS5 Pro. It's gonna drop Pro. faster than you think. That's what's gonna happen Pro. here in this situation. And they're gonna need that to come up to the level of the X. Okay, because they're three uh, turbos behind, and turbo is just part of it. But they are also, um, if you remember, the. Um, was it the X? I think it was the original Xbox. Um, Xbox One was how far behind the um, the PlayStation? How many teraflops? I can't remember. But when it, however far they were behind there, this is a bigger gap for right. them. Yeah. We're not talking nine hundred. We're not talking. We're not talking nine eighty p. To 1080p, 1080p to you 1080. know, that's just right. right. 900, that's or 900 to you know, 900p to 1080p. Right. We're not yeah. talking that so, stuff. So, that, that so that didn't matter. You couldn't the... even see that. Right. So what they have? They're gonna drop this pro. So what's gonna happen? And what's gonna happen with that? That's gonna be some damn backlash because you're gonna have all these jokers that bought PS5. Now you're gonna drop a pro mm -hmm. in, in 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 13, 14 months. Man, jokers gonna all lose right. their minds. Yeah. But yeah. in a situation where they might have to do that. Which again what? solidifies PS5 my early <laughs> what but see Stop. that solidifies my original my original comment. If mm. if they were smart, they would differentiate themselves and go all in to VR. I'm telling you. They would go if they go all in to VR, I mean they would they would have that category locked down. Because I mean, Big, Big Phil has already stressed yeah. that he's not really interested in that. Right. I mean, yeah, all right. If anybody that wants to do VR as far as uh, any uh, Microsoft's involvement with PC, well, yeah, you know, we got so many partners that we work with, uh, with the mixed reality headsets, you know, the Oculus and all that stuff. You know, he's like, y'all can go that route. But as far as within the Xbox ecosystem, he has clearly stated time and time again that he's not really, he doesn't really see the value in that as far as locking it down within the Xbox, uh, within the Xbox brand. So, and, and you know, you, you kind of, you can respect that. So, for Sony, oh my gosh, for Sony, um, it just seems to me just seems to me like it would make sense for them to just go that route. But Sean, even the most diehard VR guy knows that VR is not really the thing either. 
You know what I mean? I always said that the X Cloud has more potential than VR. Because you already got people streaming movies and everything out here already, so there ain't gonna be nothing for them, for them to stream games. And it's there, it's already here. VR is expensive. VR is, there's not enough games out. And the thing that they're gonna need to do with VR is make it wireless. If they don't make it wireless, that's gonna be a problem as well. Well, that's true. They can't I do mean... nothing against the X Cloud. That's, That's why what I'm I said the handheld and everything that could po Sony could possibly do has been nullified, y'all. Can't you see that? Like this, this, this is what I said. It's I said. not. It's not even funny well, anymore. Well, that's what I'm yep. saying. So they. So then they. The only thing they really have left, I mean, that has a track record, as a track record, a bona fide track record of working. Only thing they've got in their favor is their ability to spin the narrative through right. their marketing campaign. That's what they're going to do. Mark my words. Seriously. Like so. <laughs> you can take this to the bank. Sherman, you can Sherman take this to the bank. on the lies, right. It's I'm serious, funny. man. Yeah, I'm I know. I, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, serious. We, we're going to hold And people Sherman will fall for it. No, right. But, but, see, right. but see, that's the thing. The, the sad part, look, I want to be wrong. Right. I would love to right. be wrong. But, but the sad just, part about it is there's a strong possibility. I'm right. right. They're too consistent. Yes. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. they, they will do it. And folks like us, you know, we can see right through it. But there's going to be millions upon millions of people who they're going to fall for the okie doke. I mean, seriously. They can have all the facts right in front of them, but it won't matter. They're going to listen to the Sony narrative. And because Sony said so, they're going to be like, oh, well, I guess it must be true. And then they're going to drop down that $4.99 or $5.99, whatever Sony reveals it to be, even though it's going to, there will be bona fide evidence that says, well, you know, you're getting the inferior system, right? They don't, you know, they're not going to have any games, right? You know that their internet, their, their, their online service is subpar, right? That's um, another thing. You don't throw no money at that. That's another thing. Right. Yeah. They, and they refuse. They absolutely, it, it's, it, yeah, uh, and again, but it won't matter because it's got the Sony nameplate on it. And so, folks, th I'm telling you, that's what, legal, I, I already it. put the question out there. You already put the question out there. What if, What do they have in their pocket? What can they do? What do they have in their bag of tricks? The only thing they got that has worked in the past and that they're going to depend on right. is their ability to spin the narrative and sadly it's going to work not right. it, it may not be as successful as it has in times past and that'll be a good thing but they're going to experience a certain level of success and that's a shame really if you think about it it really is that's my prediction <laughs> that's my prediction well you know what we'll see what's going to move we'll yeah. have to see what happens um we got some bold predictions in here and uh, you know, I think now, we now. We, now let me just up? say, let, can I just up? can I just yeah, say this real quick? You can quick? close it. Yeah, go ahead. And when you're done, go ahead here's, and start closing here's the, the show. Here's the fly in the ointment uh -huh. um, for Sony, um, as has already been mentioned. You know, a lot of more than a few Sony folks are now in Microsoft's camp. Exactly. Yeah. So we'll talk about that. So with. So, so, so with that being said, mm -hmm. you know, in times past, Sony would spin the narrative mm -hmm. and they would get their marketing machine up and running and, and, you know, get this super aggressive campaign going and blah, blah, blah. Right. And then Microsoft would be like, yeah, you know, they would respond with a half hearted answer. Okay. But now that you've got, now that you've got Sony people in Microsoft's camp, uh, they kind of already know you, they've got people that knows what Sony will probably do and in turn will know how best to respond. So when Sony fires up their marketing machine, well, what's going to be different this time around is that in Microsoft's camp, you're going to have Sony people, ex-Sony employees, ex-Sony executives, ex-Sony marketing people right. who will be like, oh, yeah, well, yeah. All right. Yeah, I remember. I was part of that team that came up with that campaign. But right. tell you what, here's how you respond to that. 
And then I predict that when it comes time for the beginning of, of the next generation, we are going to see a totally different level of energy from the Xbox side. I think the Xbox marketing campaign is going to be something that we've never seen before. And it's going to be on fire. It's going to be live. No pun intended. All right, man. All right, All right. Kaz, you got any last yep. words? Uh, well, hey, man, you know, we both, the uh, three of us made some bold predictions here. But like I said, I think uh, Sony is... Uh, you know they're 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 gonna have to really respond, and it's gonna be really interesting to see which way they go tomorrow night. Um, whether they you know do like Sherm said, play up the VR situation, or um, they straight come out and show the system off, which I don't think they're gonna do. Um, what time? What time they, is the show anyway? Know, what time will the show start? That's, up? A, that's a good question. Um, not sure I have to check that out. Um, Make sure you get at me, but with that so I can put the time down. Okay, cool. But depending on how they, res but depending on you know the mood they make and how they respond, is gonna it's gonna it's gonna make a difference. It's gonna make okay. a difference in how how they're gonna go moving forward, man. And I mean, because the rumor is February they're gonna have a, a hardware showing, okay. But now the right. situation is that do they want to do that? Since you know Microsoft they came out and said, bang, this is the way we doing it. So. Um, they they got some decisions to make, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out. Well, so it's verified <laughs> tomorrow for sure. The show's tomorrow. It's on the sixth CES show. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, they're supposed to show. And, they have a camp. They have something coming out saying the future is coming or something like that. And whether whatever they're gonna show, we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna see. They they don't usually show a whole lot. Um, right, they, they not at the CES. PlayStation. Yeah, they don't even right. have a PlayStation, which I think is not even smart to me to even bring your PlayStation to a show of electronics. Those electronics are going to overshadow you. You see what I'm right. saying? Let's That's why Microsoft right. was smart in doing this with, with the Game Awards because you had millions And with watching. AMD. And with AMD. I mean, some, right. of, the, some, of, the, some of the reactions to, to their presentation at, at the award show were priceless. They were like, holy shit. What the hell? You know, so, right. yeah. yeah. It's it's gonna be very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Which you know would go back to what I said earlier about the the new attitude. Um, I wouldn't at all be surprised if the folks that used to be Sony employees but are now at Team Xbox. I wouldn't be surprised if that was their idea. Like you know what, uh, you know, a um, couple of big wigs from Sony are gonna be at the Game Awards. Wouldn't it be something if uh, the Series X was revealed at the Game Awards? I'm, I'm telling you, I, we don't know, but I'm saying it's a possibility. So that just may be a taste of what's coming as far as the new attitude um, with reveals and marketing within Microsoft and the Xbox camp. Oh, this is definitely, def you're definitely right about that. This is Phil Ship now. This is, this is how he's running it. This is how he's running it. It's like this. Yeah. yeah. You know, got nobody telling him what to do. He got side right. over there. But they kind well, of he's executive he ain't got nobody he's else. He's executive VP, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He's got clout. Yeah. He's got clout. He got more clout now than when Don Metrics left. Facts. Because if there was if it was if it was up to Morrison, there'd be no Xbox. It'd be all about Windows. Facts. So Yeah. Let's, yeah, that yeah. was the problem. Exactly. That was the so issue. You guys huh. made some you guys made some good points tonight, man. Um, yeah, that's going to be it, man. Yes, yeah, that's going to be it. We, we, because right. uh, we, we, you know, it. we're going to let tomorrow speak for itself. And, uh, yeah, kind of like why I wanted to do this show, touch on some subjects. I, the show, you know, what is Sony going to do now, man? I mean, I, what are they going to do now? It's just, it's, I'm, I'm kind of interested myself to see <laughs> what they're going to do. I see the rabbit coming out of the hat. I mean, I see the, I see the, the smoke and mirrors, but let's see, let's see. I really want to see how. This is going to work. I like the way Microsoft has thrown their cards out there, man. And you know what? Microsoft reminds me of the poker game right now. They done pushed all their chips out, and they stood up hmm. all hands on deck. They're going all in. Now, it's Sony. 
going to go all in because that's basically what has happened. I, I want people to understand mm. that's what's happened. Microsoft has put all their lineups out there. You got people around the world beta testing on the X Cloud. You got people um, that have gotten into Ultimate Game Pass. You done got people that have gotten into Game Pass. You've gotten people that went over to the Game Pass PC. You got PC games coming over to Xbox. You got Xbox games going over to Steam. You got My Microsoft is saying, hey, listen, we haven't even touched our baby yet, and it's coming with DR DXR, the d uh, direct ray tracing. Uh, of uh, uh, quality to it and when that minecraft not only goes into 4k but actually the ray tracing that minecraft gets put in there minecraft is fixing to blow up even more so i'm 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 mm -hmm. ready to see what sony has to say because everything is out there or even if they show up but anyway i digress hey listen it's been the new legal thank you united cast for coming out thank you Shermanator for coming out. My two brothers from another mother. I appreciate you guys, man. My Xbox comrades. Hey, shout outs to the Mixer team. Ziggy Stardust, salute. E names, X Cloud, salute. Thank you, Twitter team. You guys be cracking me up every single day. Yo, the Twitter Xbox community, some of them guys I know out there, man. Some of them got, you know what? I can't say enough about you guys because it's a daily laughter with you guys. It's a, I can't have a bad day. I go to Twitter just to laugh, just to cheer up. And, man, you want a community like that. I, I enjoy it. You know, some of these guys are going through some rough times. And, and you know, um, we know that. And it's good to see some of the Xbox people in the, in the community cheer them up. Um, Twitter, the Twitter Xbox community, by far, is probably the most fun and the happiest of times that I, that I do endure during the day. Um, Shout outs to home base headquarters, though, of all else. The DX man of the DX mansion. I'm so proud of you guys, man. True Xbox fans, true Xbox gamers up in there. Um, mm -hmm. The YouTube people who come up on my YouTube channel, who make comments, who put likes, who, who watches our shows. We want to say, we can't say enough. Thank you for supporting the channel and continually letting it grow. Even though we may not be a powerhouse, we grow slowly, fine. As the deal was, as long as we grow, we're going to keep doing what we do, what we passionately do. So we can't say enough to y'all. The, the Mixer followers out here who do follow for a follow on my, on my channel, we want to say thank you because of you guys. I keep brothers like Sherman and United Cast coming up on here. And United Cast, he represents the streets. I'm glad my brother's reaching out more because he wants other people who are just like him to know that it's okay to come up here and talk Xbox. He's just a normal person, man, out there in New Jersey. Takes care of his daughter. He's a martial arts instructor. Sometimes my man be doing some push-ups. He, he does his thing. I got a lot of respect for him. But he comes up on here, man, when he has time because life affects us all. But when Cass has time, he comes up here, man, and he does his hobby. And he wants to, to know, to, for, you, for you guys to know that you can come up here and be a part of direct gaming. You don't have to be somebody that has a platform. or uh, Listen, all you have to have is a good headset. When things are working, we put you on. And let's hear what you got to say. Shout outs to everybody like Kaz has ever been on the channel. Shout outs to those who come straight out of Mixer, hitting me up and say, hey, man, I want to play with you. And we get in here and we actually play and they talk. Shout outs to you guys, man, because this channel is all about the Xbox Live community. It's an Xbox Live channel. We're just the forerunners here. Shermanator, my OG, my big brother, my root gamer. Yo, he's one of those dudes that is when I say OG oh, and originator. Yo, Sherman. <laughs> We're going to have to do a show for Sherman and just let Sherman talk all the way up from the beginnings. Mm. Now, that would be something legendary. We got to give Sherman, we got to give Sherman that mic one day and just let it be the Shermanator show. Let him do his thing. So we just, we can't wait, man. No, seriously. I want a show like that from you, brother. And, I, and we can't wait to hear your endurance in these streets, man. 
it's it's fascinating because, like I said on that other show, when you were talking about the pinballs and bringing up the console wars, man. There's a lot of people that said they want more, Sherm. So we may have to um, do another show on that. We might have to go back to the one and where we see where some pivotal points where we can start from and let you continue, man. Um, people said they, they really want a series on that. So uh, we may have to continue that. But, hey, it's 2020, right. y'all. Life is That's good. It. We're here. Happy New Year. This, yes, sir. And this is the first Happy show. Happy New Decade. That's right. Yeah. And this is the first <laughs> show Direct Gaming has coming out in 2020. So once again, I want to thank these two gentlemen here for being a part of that with me. And thank you all. We're ending the show. See you guys soon. This has been the new legal represent Direct Gaming. Peace, brothers. Peace.